shit crazy. I don't know. I don't know. Might be the day of random wins. Pikachu versus Terry. That should be a good uh, set. I have not seen this matchup in a minute, I think. So I know for a fact Riddles doesn't go Pika uh, Terry against Pikachu. Three, two, one, go! Special jab jab, and just like that, from one jab jab power duck, it's literally an even game. Honestly, I feel like the power wave is gonna be a really good tool against Pikachu. Just the fact that, as you guys can see, it literally clanks with the Thunder Jordan and straight up deletes it. So, especially if he's far away, he could just throw it out and just basically punish Pikachu for it, or at least have a this out of the way. Oh, getting caught up with the Thunder Jones. What is with these T-Bags? I don't know if he's trying to do coil by any chance, but uh, these T-Bags are a little weird. A little weird, champ. Oh, wow, we're gonna see the power wave into a uh, burn knuckle. That is 32%. So Kino playing extremely well right now against Trenko. How's he gonna recover? Great recover, and he's even gonna punish the Thunder right side with another burn knuckle. Goes on the line now, so if he times it right, he should be able to. No, not gonna get the charge to be and not gonna kill. <gasps> the power guys are just gonna straight up delete that stock. Are we gonna see a potential three stock right now? Honestly, with the rage Terry has and go online, it might be possible as long as he just gets a couple more percent. Another missed uh, Thunder gonna get some. Oh wow. 24 to 54. <gasps> That's not gonna be it though. Almost. And that's it. That's gonna be a stock. Wow. Down to the to jab, jab, Buster Wolf. Crazy. Just like that, the three stock from Nokino. Every single turn we've been having this season so far, I feel like there's been a person who enters the tournament that we're just not aware of. And they just come up and just do a top 8. And they're crazy good. And Okino definitely showing he's one of those players. It was Kirby at one point? Sure, did you advance me? Hey, thanks, Mike. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Or thanks, Mike. <laughs> We will allow no Yoshis into our top 8. Good stuff, man. Good stuff. One second, y'all.
All right, I'm back. Oh, I had to go open the door for my parents. Oh, but honestly, I'm really surprised that Nokino actually let the stage Pikachu go on it because this stage is just really, really just beneficial to Pikachu. As you guys can see, Chango can literally just cap the platforms, and just Chango can't do much about it. Uh, Nokino really can't do much about it. And that's one of the things, like I said, I hate about the so-called rule set is the fact that there's stages like Kalos and Town and City, which are basically campy stages already on the stage on the stage list. And when you fight characters who are good on FDs, like you literally have three FDs, which is Town and City and uh, Kalos and FD. So it's like you could literally only ban two of them. It's like, okay, which stage do I want to get camped on the least? That's literally your option. Also, I'm so glad they add a small battlefield as a stage because we add one more small stage uh, to the stage list. So we could potentially take out one of those bigger stages and just take it on in general. Like, I would be fine with all those three stages being on here, like, town, like the one I just mentioned, if you had three bands at least. Oh, that's gonna be an unfortunate SD from Nokino right there. Tranquil kind of turned this around. Just the stage is really benefiting in his favor right now. Kind of is able to camp this uh, plats out. And Okino kind of having a tough time and I'm trying to get something started. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm talking about. Like, you really can't do much in those situations. You kind of just have to just give Pikachu respect. Which is really unfortunate for a lot of characters. But I can literally just shut them down just like that. Oh wow, it's gonna miss time that burn knuckle right there. Gonna get hit with a fully charged S smash. Wow, are we gonna see a potential reverse three stock right now? Literally both these players are saying uh three stock into a three stock into a three stock. With 32%. Yeah, Terry cannot do anything, I'm telling you guys, it's really sad. Pikachu can kinda of just do that. Yeah, Pikachu can do that on this stage, that's what I'm saying, I'm surprised he didn't ban it. It's like, this is one of the number of stages you gotta ban against Pikachu. Oh, wow, there you go, he's gonna avoid the 3 stock at least. And Checo just gonna do a rinse and repeat, just kinda camp those platforms, like I said. Literally, why the last time I fought him, it went game five. But literally, I, I would two stock him at least on every stage that was my pick. And then when he go to his stage, he just cap me and just it would go to like glass hit every single time. It's like it's just a, it's literally proof to show that how effective stages could be sometimes. Especially in favor of Pikachu with this stage list because it's just really unfortunate. Go. Oh, that might have honestly been a stock had he connected that. Yeah, he's fishing for it. He's looking for something. No power geyser. Not gonna connect. That gonna be the stock. Yes, it is. Tranko gonna take game two, forcing his way into a game three situation. Yeah, I mean, it's, you kind of have to when you're like dealing with a Pikachu like that in that situation. Like, there's really not much you can do. I just let it have to let it happen. All right, this for sure is gonna be a crazy game three. I feel like as long as Nokino gets the stage she wants, and uh, Trenko banned the right stages I'm thinking about, then it should be a oh, this is honestly a really Go! sus pick too. This is literally Pikachu's best stage because of how you watch Pikachu shows Thunder Jolt. And if you guys saw how much literally uh, Nokino was struggling with Thunder Jolt, this stage is literally the, what you want to avoid. 
But I am very shocked he went here. And just like that, there's the thunder loops. Kalos is his best age. Yeah, but this is literally the uh, Kalos, or it might be Town FD too. Literally, Kalos, FD, and Town are his best stages. Poor Nokino, man. I, I don't think he knew just how how literally polar this stage can be for Pikachu. See, exactly. That's what makes. No, it, it's definitely Kalos. It's definitely Kalos, but it's literally it's probably FD, FD and Kalos uh, and Town tied. Yeah, and Okino's is kind of done with it, man. This is really unfortunate. Like, at what point do you say like you're really just getting outplayed, and it's just like, oh, you're just playing a, a seriously tough matchup? And this is exactly what I say why Riddles does never never chooses to opt for Terry against Isam. Just because this happens. You just get Thunderjaw camped the whole time, there's not much Terry can do about it. You know, he does have go, maybe we can see some crazy comeback right now, but it's going to be really, really difficult for Terry to even try and get the chance to come in on Pikachu. There's the burn, Uncle. I mean, the Power Geyser. Alright, what can he do with this go, though? Oh, that's going to be unfortunate. Literally holding on up to the air for a little bit too long, getting a punch with the F-Smash. Yeah, this is really unfortunate, man. Chanko just abusing his character to the fullest potential. Literally showing why Pikachu is considered the best character in the game sometimes. It's, it's Battlefield and Smashville. Nah, uh, Spitu, we definitely have a problem with our stage this right now. Like, if, once you start, if you push up playing more Wi Fi tournaments, you start playing like other like regions like stage this, you'll realize just how literally bad like a lot of them are. And like, what are the, a lot of the problems you have in those stages? Oh, well, I'm not sure if you had the armor on it, but you'll be able to make it back safely onto stage. It was just back on. Oh, are we gonna see the thunder? Not quite yet. Oh, and that's going to be the stock. Wow. What a strong start for Nokino. Ended up just getting camped out and just literally just Tranko just proving why Pikachu just dominates that matchup. Tranko going to take the set 